a bit dark. It's around six o'clock. I check into my hostel. I'm starving. I didn't really have time to film because I was charging my camera in the hostel, but I'll show you guys my place after. Directly hitting the night market. Guys, words can't express how happy I am to be here. If you could see my eyes, they're tearing out of it, pure excitement. Like, I'm so freaking happy right now. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Welcome to Beijing. polluted right now I guess because it's dark outside but you can smell it and feel it in your lungs sort of like if you take a really deep breath with your nose you feel like your nose is like trying to filter as much as possible and it's just not working out also my theory holds up so far I haven't seen any white girl with an Asian guy it's funny because every shop that I've been to like I'm sort of scared to purchase because I feel like everything's like fake or something but I finally chose a restaurant. So it tastes good. Guys, this is my first bite of Chinese food, so expectations are high. I definitely see why people get trapped with diarrhea. It tastes pretty different. Testing. Here we go. Today I can't decide if it's just like the general smell or if it's because of the pollution that it smells like this, but it smells really weird here. I wanted to go see them raise the flag at Tiananmen Square, which I don't know what time it happens at, but I'm going to Forbidden Palace. This is really awesome. They leave the Chinese chess just like on the floor. Here, I could probably play one of them in Chinese chess. So stay with me guys, Forbidden Palace and the square. Beautiful. So let me explain to you guys like how the futons work. Um, they're basically like little communities, like closed off areas. So here's one. I forget which hutong I'm in, but we're just, we just passed one. If you go inside, it's like a little maze, sort of. And uh, I think there's like a community police station, like toilet and all that stuff. But it's pretty neat, the concept of it. It's very old school China. It's all good. It's around like minus six right now, but it's like 5 a.m. So it's actually really hard getting around uh, China when you can't pick up like some characters. Luckily, I can a little bit. So, like I sort of asked them stuff, like the entrance. Chia man, ruko. Chia man, ruko. 
to eat, which means like affirmative, yes. So, I feel like it's not open or something. <laughs> but uh, maybe I'm a bit too early. It's like 5... It's 5.30. So maybe it opens at like 6. <laughs> or the flag goes up at 6, I don't know. Security. Guys, I'm in Tiananmen Square. This is extremely epic. I waited like two hours to get here. They're gonna raise the flag. It is freezing. My hands are f***ing freezing. I'm not the only white person here, also. I just heard him say that it opens at 7.30. We'll raise the flag at 7.30. Oh, second I start filming, everyone's like, start staring. Thank God I have the company of the camera though. <laughs> Lonely out here in China. So they have a bunch of these security uh, checkpoints around the, these areas like Tiananmen and uh, Forbidden Kingdom. Well, I guess it's because I'm also foreign too, so they don't really check me thoroughly. Like for example, just to get here from over there, I had to walk like 10 minutes because I had to go all the way around. Then they have these underground passages. You can see one right here, probably. This one right here, right there. You go down there, and then you basically come up on the other side. Because these expressways are like five lanes on each side. Fun fact about those doors. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's 81 of those golden knobs. Because like nine is like, a, you know, eight or something. And that's like nine times nine, 81. So it's like a lucky number. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's something to do with luck. Yeah. Yeah. I know what's inside. So suck it, Dad. I'm still gonna try it. I just take another one. I can't use chopsticks, my hands are too cold. <laughs> Like Kung Fu Panda dumplings right here. It's really good. Good luck. I will rub these. They feel similar to a ta ta. I don't know what I'm saying. So this eventually is released. You guys are very lucky. I'm giving you a free freaking tour. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I actually can't believe that I'm still here. I haven't seen one other white person yet. What is up with that? I don't think I've ever seen a Chinese zombie yet in those zombie movies, but the high chance is that they'd all be coming from China. Poor guys like cleaning the cracks. I give you an imperial toothbrush and you must scrape every stone. And look at the detail. <laughs> When you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, when you're smiling, and over smiles of you. It was the place where the emperor's concubines were selected. Oh, you're laughing. Oh, you're laughing. It's past 12. I've been here for. I was there for a good three hours. I couldn't really read the exhibitions because obviously they're all in Mandarin, except for the main ones. When you're crying. When you're crying. <laughs> Most Chinese, like, they actually just say hello, hello, but they don't actually know what they're, like, you know, just to get your attention, but they don't know what to do after that. So it's pretty funny. 
Let's see what this guy wants to say. Uh, uh, where are you going? I'm walking. Oh, the city. Yeah. Uh, one minute. Stop. Are you sure? That's okay. That's okay. At least that guy knew. Oh, this Friend, right stop your side. Won't you be happy again? Happy again. When you're smiling. When you're smiling. Keep on smiling. Keep on smiling. I'm the one这个是什么？卖chicken。卖。啊，这是啥chicken？啊，这是。好吃吗？好吃。好吃。肯定好吃。你哪个国家的？中。你什么国家的？哪个国家的？我不明白。Where Hi,漂亮了。看过那个飞行舞蹈吗? 大小 Play it safe for lunch I got it, it's like fried chicken basically Maybe I'll actually go the other way Because, you know, whatever I'm gonna go back to the My hostel It was 15 RMB Which is roughly, I don't know Three bucks, a bit less This is what I got Basically, um Like fr uh, fried chicken With some chili spices on it and a little like button. I just think that all the chicken here tastes different, which is an obvious statement, but you wouldn't notice it until you actually try it and it tastes like really, really different from chicken. Everything tastes like chicken, you know? But this doesn't taste like chicken.